Hey, just a check in for uh, you uh, Ag Records online students. Wanted to tell you that uh, some of you have emailed me lately. Um, I informed you that your chapter two or, or possibly later on this week, your chapter three are, are, are not acceptable. I've, I've got, you've got to have them correct before you move on. Okay. Um, it's okay for you to email me, but what we really need to do if you don't know what to do is get together. I can do one of two things, and I'm perfectly happy to do that, is set up a phone type of a, a session so that we can, we can go through and I can have your QuickBooks pulled up on my screen and you could be looking at yours and that sort of thing or we can actually use a virtual conferencing and I've done that with several of you students up to this point so there's some options out there it doesn't do you much good other than the initial contact to email me and just say you're lost okay I want you to do that I encourage you to do that but then in addition Tell me when is a good time to contact you. I know your schedules vary from, you know, I've got people on the East Coast and West Coast, time differences and all that kind of stuff. Let me know when I can actually contact you. Um, I can be somewhat flexible. For the next several weeks, I won't be around for the weekends at all. Um, you, can, you can try, and I will try as well, but... Evenings are okay with me. I've tried to have some virtual office hours and uh, with little or no uh, uh, people using them. But uh, individually, I've had some people jump on. We've been able to solve some problems really quickly, actually. So don't be afraid. I'm, I'm here. I'm getting paid to, to help you. And uh, if I send you a message, take a look at it. And if you can fix it on your own, that's all, all, all good. But you can't go on until you fix the problem. That's how accounting is. Um, there may be a little bit of frustration in the beginning, but the setup of a company, especially in Chapter 2 like we just went through, is just crucial to do it correctly. That just sets the foundation for everything we're going to do continuing on into this class. And the big part of it is, is that for each and every one of you, I'd like you to consider adopting a computerized records kind of accounting program for your own personal records. And I don't want you to have a bad experience. I want you to have a good experience. We can probably get you over any kind of misunderstandings or confusion with the accounting part of it. Uh, it may take a little time. It depends, you know, what kind of entries you've made and, and whether you followed instructions, but we can get through that. So I would just encourage you, get a hold of me, give me some times that I can actually visit with you. These are not uh, just one, you know, text type answers to these questions. And I can help you. I know I can. And uh, at least we'll get you started down the right road. So. For this week, we're going to start into Chapter 4. I have given you two weeks on Chapter 2 and two weeks on Chapter 3. So um, I expect you to, to get some work done and, and, uh, and learn some things, hopefully, through, through using QuickBooks Online. Another, just a little bit of a blurb, just maybe a, an advertisement to a certain degree. I know that this is a retail business that we're going through. And I have had a chance to visit with several of you, but I want you to get some experience with this. Most people in agriculture have at least one side hustle, and, and me in particular, and a lot of you out there have several. Uh, so you need to kind of be comfortable with these kinds of situations. Uh, and and maybe it's, it's kind of an abstract uh, business idea to you, but I'll, I'll, I'll bet that actually, it, once that's pointed out, that, that you could probably use some, uh, or come up with some applications for it. So I always, always, always in all my classes ask my, my, my students, why are, you gonna, why are you learning this? Why are you in here? And hopefully 
this glass has a lot of practicality to it. That's, that's my intention. It can't have a lot of practicality unless you're asking questions. And we can get together so I can answer them. So don't be the barrier. Uh, get a hold of me. You can, I, I've, I've offered my text number. You can, you can email. It's not real effective other than setting up a time that we can get together. Virtually, we can do a lot. It's amazing what the technology allows us to do today. So with that, good luck with the, with your studies and the rest of your classes, but uh, be sure and be, stay in touch with us.